I think there were many reasons that this was the right move. Um, one of the biggest reasons was the ambition and the vision um, from the owners. Um, when I spoke to Jill Ellis uh, and heard about the plans and the, what they wanted to build, it was something that interested me massively. The type of manager that, that I am and I like to be is very open, very honest, very driven, very hardworking. And my philosophy, I want to say football, I should say soccer now, is very much about winning and how we win. Um, I like to play a high pressing game, high energy. I like my teams to be able to defend from the front. I like to play attacking football. I like to get my wide players on the ball. I like to score goals. Um, and my philosophy, my coaching philosophy is very much about developing players to make decisions so that when they go out there in those big moments, they can perform to their best of their ability. I'm so excited about this move. Obviously, I've watched a lot of the NWSL. I think it's a fantastic league. It is super transitional. It, you know, you go back to front, front to back really quickly. As a coach, you know, it's, it's going to be a great league to work in. Um, living in San Diego is going to be incredible. It's a fantastic place, fantastic city. And to be able to build this from the start, to be able to create the culture, the environment, the team, and build a winning, winning culture is something I'm really excited about. The opportunity to work with Jill, someone that has won the accolades that she's won, back-to-back -back gold medals, you know, worked in international football, worked with some of the best players in the world, was really attractive and appealing to me to be able to pick her brains, be able to lean on her, to be able to, to get guidance you know, from someone of that calibre. You, know, you don't often get the opportunity to do that, and that was a big part of why I made this move. Obviously, it's, it's been a recent move for me. Um, so me and Molly have had lots of conversations in a short space of time. She's going to be integral to everything we build moving forward in terms of recruitment and players and, and making sure that we've got the best support mechanisms around the players and the staff. And, and so far, she's been incredible. Yeah, it's huge that, you know, it, it is women leading this team. You know, I've got two daughters um, and I want to show them that women can be strong role models. I'm going to be working for them, with them. And, you know, there's going to be a lot of strong women in our team. So it's really important that we show that, that we showcase that, and I'm really looking forward to working with them. I think one of the biggest steps for us right now is player recruitment. Obviously, we don't have any players. We have to build this from the ground. So making sure we have the right type of people, the right type of characters, the right ability on the pitch to be able to build a winning team is going to be really important, and that is what we're doing right now. And we've got, you know, we've got a couple of months to be able to do that. It's important we get it right, and that's what we're working through. Well, having been in Manchester for quite a few years, one of the most exciting things is the weather. You know, the people, the culture, everything I've read, everything I've heard massively excites me. You know, I've never been to San Diego, but I've spoke to a lot of people now, I've done my research, and by all accounts, it's one of the best places you can live in the world. So to be able to coach with the sun on your back, be able to be out there with the players and have the right weather and create the right environment is, is exciting for us. I think it's fantastic for fans to have that sort of weather and be in the stadium, build that real community feel that we want around the club is something that really excites me. Well, obviously as a player, I was a centre-back, so defensive organisation was something I was really keen on. As a coach, it's a non-negotiable for me. You know, we defend from the front. We make sure that all 11 are defensively minded. And I think having watched the league, it's something that I really think I can improve. I think we can defend, we can be structurally organised. Yes, we know we're going to be able to attack. We're going to have fantastic attacking players because that's what we're going to do. But to be able to bring that mindset that we defend from the front, how early can we win the ball back so that we can score, is something that I definitely bring, think I can bring to the NWSL.